Hi, VancouverWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday, May 7th. Kind of an active weather pattern shaping up for the next several days. There'll be a colder air mass moving into the western part of the U.S. Meanwhile, here in the Mid-Atlantic region, we'll have a rather summer-like weekend. Te temperatures mainly up in the 80s across the I-95 corridor, and humidity will definitely become more noticeable, especially compared with the last very warm weather uh, spell that we had earlier this week. Patchy late night and early morning fog could actually become a, an issue over the weekend and into the early part of next week. Given the increase in moisture this weekend, there certainly can be some clouds around on both weekend days and perhaps even a shower or thunderstorm on Saturday or Sunday. The colder weather out in the western U.S. could very well lead to some accumulating snowfall across the Rocky Mountains and then into the northern plains at the end of the weekend and the early part of next week. Let's start off by taking a look at the latest surface map. First of all, a very weak frontal system still stalled out just to the south of the uh, D.C. metro region and the uh, I-95 corridor. A decent day today. There are some clouds around. It'll generally be partly sunny and rather warm high temperatures, not far from 80 degrees. Meanwhile, low pressure continues to spin off the southeast U.S. coastline, and the longer that spins over the relatively warm ocean water, the, the better the chance it actually develops into a tropical st system. A, uh, still a decent chance that that occurs over the next 48 to 72 hours or so as it slowly meanders to the north and west. Meanwhile, some cold air building up out here in southwestern Canada. That will drop down into the uh, Rockies over the next couple of days and accumulating snow is possible in places like Denver, Colorado this upcoming Mother's Day weekend. Well, before we take a look at some computer forecast maps, let's focus in on the, the low pressure area spinning off the southeast U.S. coastline. This is a colorized infrared satellite imagery loop from the Penn State Ewall site. Notice a, a little bit of circulation pattern here. Without question, there's a circulation center right in this region right here. Clouds moving towards the north on the east side of the circulation center and basically from the uh, northeast to the southwest, west of that center. This will continue to spin in this general region over the next 24 to 36 hours or so. Ultimately, it could develop in stronger, become strong enough to become a named tropical system as it meanders to the north and west. If indeed it becomes the first named tropical system, it would be called Anna. Again, uh, areas along the uh, Carolina coastline here should pay attention to this as it certainly could produce some heavy rainfall over the next couple of days. Well, let's take a look at last night's Zero Z GFS model run for the upcoming several days We're going right into Sunday. A lot of activity going on across the country, uh, uh, including accumulating snow out west, a summer like weekend in the northeast U.S., and a subtropical or perhaps even a tropical low spinning off the southeast U.S. coastline. This is the forecast map from the Tropical Tidbits website for uh, this evening, Thursday evening. Here's that low pressure area intensifying slowly and it will uh, continue to spin in this general region for the next several hours so it certainly has a chance to intensify enough to become the uh, first named tropical system. Whether it does or not, there will be some heavy rainfall right along the South Carolina and North Carolina coast in this region right here. Uh, notice out in the west some blue showing up here and this is snowfall uh, as depicted here on this tropical tidbit site. The precipitation type is color-coded. Severe weather yesterday out across the central plains and they are in store for more severe weather over the next few days given the fact that this cold air will continue to press in from the west. Meanwhile, some warm and humid air pumping in from the Gulf of Mexico spells trouble for the central plains, especially over the upcoming weekend. Well, we jump ahead 12 hours to tomorrow morning, Friday morning, and here's that low spinning off the Carolina coastline, still there. Colder air anchored by the strong high pressure here in southwestern Canada. Colder air pouring down the Rockies, causing some snowfall. Uh, and that will continue to be the case right through the upcoming weekend. Meanwhile, warm, humid air pumping in 
from the Gulf of Mexico right into the south central U.S. Let's now jump ahead another 12 hours. And here's the forecast map, map for Friday evening. That low goes nowhere, just spinning right off the Carolina coastline. A couple of scattered showers throughout the mid-Atlantic region, mostly up in the mountainous areas, uh, higher elevation areas in the western part of the mid-Atlantic region. Certainly not a totally cloud-free over the next couple of days, but rather decent weather should hold on for Thursday and Friday in the mid-Atlantic region. Meanwhile, Cold air pouring into the northern plains and the Rockies. Still some rain and snow out there for, uh, for Friday evening. Well, here's the forecast map for Saturday morning. Still not much change with respect to this subtropical low spinning off the southeast U.S. coastline. And again, the longer it spins out over the warm waters, the better the chance it has to strengthen into a named tropical system. Meanwhile, moisture is definitely flowing into the mid-Atlantic region by this time. We will have some clouds on both weekend days, Saturday and Sunday, and patchy late night and early morning fog will very likely become an issue, perhaps as early as early tomorrow morning uh, in some of the uh, areas along the I-95 car. There will be some patches of fog, but certainly early Saturday morning and early Sunday morning, perhaps even early Monday morning, patchy fog could become an issue. By this time on Saturday, it could be accumulating snow in Denver, Colorado, right in this area right here, and then that could spread north and east as we head through the upcoming weekend. And here's the forecast map for Saturday evening. This is a 72-hour forecast from last night's Zero-Z GFS model run. Notice a little bit of precipitation depicted here by last night's GFS model run for the eastern part of Pennsylvania. Certainly with this increase in moisture, the higher humidity over the week, weekend, that will not only lead to an increase in clouds, uh, partly sunny skies expected both Saturday and Sunday, but certainly cannot rule out a shower or a thunderstorm, and then late at night, early in the morning, some patchy fog with that increase in moisture. That low still spinning off the southeast U.S. coastline come Saturday evening. Meanwhile, snow out in Colorado and Wyoming and perhaps moving into the western part of the Central Plains as the weekend progresses. Finally, here's a forecast map for Sunday morning. Much the same in the northeast U.S., Relatively high moisture content will lead to potential for some fog in the early morning hours, some clouds throughout the day on Sunday, and perhaps a, sh a shower or a thunderstorm. Meanwhile, that low still spinning just off the sa South Carolina coastline. Heavy snow falling out in portions of the northern Rockies by uh, Sunday morning into the western plains. And again, that cold air pressing in from the west combined with warm, humid air pumping in from the Gulf of Mexico could lead to a, a serious severe weather outbreak over the plains this uh, weekend, perhaps the worst outbreak of the season so far, uh, given that clash of air masses with cold air to the west, warm, humid air to the east. That's it for now. For VenCoreWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.